it, it goes everywhere and then it gets turned into all these other things and it's like, I would much rather my personal life. There's no patience, no, everybody's kind of on, on the same page that we gotta get this thing rolling now. That, that guy's not in my life anymore, unfortunately. I know. That's not, uh, I'm sorry to that hear guy, that. That guy, that's ouch. He comes over to Andy, he goes, keep me in. What happened is, on the fumble, he was not in the game. He was really coming over just to go, just put me in, I'll score, I'll score, you know, so that's really what it was. Well, I love that. Couples therapy. Because of the increasing level of pressure that they are experiencing as a couple, Taylor Swift has been encouraging her boyfriend Travis Kelsey to go to couples therapy. The music star's mental health has reportedly been suffering as a result of the spotlight that she has been receiving ever since the public introduction of her relationship with the Kansas City Chief star, as reported by Heat magazine. Although they have just been together for six months, a source has expressed concern that the singer is concerned that her relationship with Travis could soon crash and burn under the pressure of the situation. The level of pressure that they are under as a pair can be quite difficult to manage according to what they said. As a result of the fact that they are both overburdened, Taylor is experiencing anxiety for their future. Throughout her life, she has been in a vast number of relationships that begin well but ultimately fail to last. In light of the fact that she doesn't want it to occur with Travis, she is considering the possibility that couples therapy would be a good idea. I just kind of, I'm just not really looking around for them, at them, mm -hmm. shopping, I'm not doing it. It goes everywhere yeah. and then it gets turned into all these other things and it's like, I would much rather my personal life. There's no patience, no, everybody's kind of on, on the same page that we gotta get this thing rolling now. So that's what every girl wants. It's right? a guy who just who realizes that you have this dream and wants to help make it come true for you. This way, they will be able to get professional assistance to safeguard their relationship against potential issues in the future. The insider continued. The fact that Travis was seen yelling at and pushing coach Andy Reid during the Super Bowl brought him to the attention of the media for all the wrong reasons despite the fact that his team had very narrowly won the game. As a result, supporters voiced their worries with his behavior while he was playing on the field. Taylor was strongly encouraged by several people to reevaluate her relationship with Travis, noting his aggressive behavior as a cause for concern. In defense of the athlete, the source stated, Travis is actually very emotionally intelligent. They went on to say that he is more than happy to talk about his feelings and that he recognizes the importance of having a professional assist them. It is not something that they are doing as a reaction to having any major issues in their relationship. They are still very much in the honeymoon stage, but they have agreed that the best thing that they can do is get into counseling early to safeguard their relationship before problems start. That, that guy's not in my life anymore, unfortunately. I know. That's not, uh, I'm sorry to that hear guy, that. That guy, that's ouch. Which is good, so it's like easier, the bar's set really low for anyone who I date in the future to come in and be like a great guy. The possibility of getting hurt more than people who are cynical and closed off and jaded. Boyfriends and stuff, lousy boyfriends. Well, I mean, I just haven't really had any lousy boyfriends in the last year and a half. Pressure to get married. Taylor and Travis, who began dating in the summer, have been attracting fans who are anticipating their engagement. The rumors reached their peak as Kelsey prepared for the Kansas City Chiefs to win the Super Bowl ring, and some fans hoped the athlete would have a ring of his own for Swift following the win. The public's relationship with Swift's relationship is not unique, as fans have closely followed her since she was a teenager and have been there for the dating and breakups. Consumers idealize marriage and want the best for celebrities, while consumers feel an entitlement to know details about celebrities' lives and see all the pictures and marriage. When celebrities break up, fans tend to take it hard, particularly those in a parasocial relationship with the star. This one-sided relationship can feel like one, and fans who are in the parasocial relationship dynamic tend to be more invested in the relationship than casual fans. The couple is still in their honeymoon phase, where individuals see each other through rose-colored glasses. Big decisions like marriage and when to have children are not ones to be taken lightly. But the pressure only seems to increase after someone reaches their 30s. Being married was associated with significantly higher reports of happiness.
Taylor Swift song titles right out of the gate. Carson Daly knocking that out for us. Taylor is here and ready to watch. <laughs> Kelsey has responded to questions of marriage from the media with poise, but it can be trickier when the question is coming from family and friends. Pressure about marriage can put pressure on the couple, so the best way to handle intrusive questions is to set clear boundaries about what topics are open for discussion and which ones are best to be avoided. It is important to have good communication with your partner and understand how they may feel about the pressure as well as how to answer questions together going forward. As for Swift and Kelsey, they are the only ones who can see what goes on behind closed doors within their relationship. While fans are longing to see that fairy tale wedding for Swift, and as many people do for their friends and family, the question of marriage is only for the partners to discuss. As Swift might say, you and we need to calm down. For the touchdown, the Jersey Kid back in his home state for six. Oh my God, I didn't do anything. Travis Kelsey under pressure. Is Travis Kelsey out of his natural born mind? When the Kansas City star was shown on camera body checking Andy Reid on the sidelines and yelling in his face to the point where the 65 year old was stunned, the question on millions of minds was what to do? As the Chiefs advanced towards the San Francisco 49ers goal line in the second quarter of Sunday's Super Bowl, Kelsey appeared to be angry by Reed's decision to remove him from the game. Running back Isaiah Pacheco coughed up the ball just as the Chiefs were about to score, allowing San Francisco to recover and maintain a 3-0 lead. He keeps me young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, the balance looked good. Yeah, not so good. He tested, <laughs> tested that hip. He comes over to Andy. He goes, keep me in. What happened is, on the fumble, he was not in the game. But, but that's how you guys communicate sometimes. Well, he caught me off balance. So normally I'd give him a little bit, but you know what? <laughs> to go into a little bit of, and here it is right here. I mean, he really caught him off guard. And you can see Kelsey's very frustrated. Responses to Kelsey's tantrum were forceful and quick. Benny Johnson, a conservative commentator, joked on X, pointing out that Kelsey had endorsement deals with Pfizer and Anheuser-Busch's politically charged beer brand. Hey kids, don't ever mix your seventh COVID booster with Bud Light. This guy is such a disgrace. Philadelphia Eagles receiver AJ Brown tweeted, if that was me, I would have been kicked out of the league, raising the possibility that racial bias was at play when the officials decided not to dismiss Kelsey from the game. The dominant narrative would have undoubtedly changed if it had been George Pickens of Pittsburgh, C.D. Lamb of Dallas, or another black receiver going all out on his coach in that way. However, Kelsey has a lot of leeway because of his white privilege and his status as the finest in his field. This makes him enthusiastic but not unduly combative. Tony Romo of CBS quickly played down the incident, reassuringly stating that Kelsey simply wanted to return to the game and help his team win. Sure enough, Kelsey was back on the field for Kansas City's subsequent play. The outburst was forgotten after the Chiefs defeated the Niners 25-22 in overtime. Reed mockingly flagged Kelsey for cheap shots after the game. Reed remarked, he was emotional today. I have five children, so I am familiar with that situation. I adore that he enjoys playing the game and is motivated to see his team succeed. Later in the first half, Kelsey hugged Reed on the sidelines as the two made up throughout the game. Regarding his outburst, Kelsey would explain after the game, I was just telling him how much I love him. However, once the audio from the NFL film's microphone he wore during the game leaks, he won't have the opportunity to be sly. In the Super Bowl, quarterback Kelsey Kelsey was a well-known NFL player who had a ferocious rivalry with quarterback Reed. He expressed his admiration for Kelsey's leadership and the unique bond they shared. However, it was clear that this was more than just Kelsey's rivalry. He was now dating Taylor Swift, who traveled to support him. The rumors that Kelsey would ask Swift to marry him after the game were also circulating, which would have broken Kelsey under pressure. Kelsey's pre-game address expressed his desire for a Super Bowl more than he had ever wanted in his life, sending his teammates 
to tears. I love Coach Reed. Coach Reed knows how much I love to play for him, how much I love to be, you know, a product of his. Travis giving that speech on the sideline when he ran into you oh, in the yeah. first half. No. <laughs> <laughs> After the, the fumble and the uh, turnover, the broadcast showed you having a heated exchange with Coach Reed. <laughs> he was really coming over just go, just put me in, I'll score, I'll score, you know, so that's really what it was. Well, I love that. He also wanted to win the NFL's first back-to-back -back championship in 20 years and establish the Chiefs as one of the league's greatest dynasties. The Niners' defense was primed to stop Kelsey, but he managed only one reception for a yard. In the second half, Patrick Mahomes took over the game and started finding big plays with Kelsey. The Chiefs tied the game at 13-13 thanks to two grabs by Kelsey late in the fourth quarter. Kelsey's outburst, which prompted overtime, has sparked more jokes on social media about Swift's involvement making the NFL richer and him quicker. Mahomes connected with Kelsey on the Chiefs' last drive for a short gain that he stretched for seven yards, setting up the quarterback's game-winning pass to Mecole Hardman. Kelsey now has an even greater lead over Jerry Rice in the all-time postseason receptions list after finishing with 93 yards on nine catches. After the game, Kelsey returned to his heel image on the platform, dismissing rumors of retirement and igniting fan excitement for a third consecutive championship run. He ended with shaky performances of Viva Las Vegas and Fight for Your Right, expressing pride in the men he just won the championship with. However, in light of recent events, Kelsey's review felt dated, even for Sin City. Eventually, he must have been relieved to leave the field under confetti, swift by his side, and singing You Belong With Me to each other at the Chiefs post-Super Bowl celebration. That's all for this video, folks. See you next time.